Dad, you okay? Eva, what are you doing awake? You need to get some sleep. I know, I'm sorry, I couldn't sleep. Have you slept at all? You look terrible. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Now, I know this has been hard on you. Dad, I know, you don't have to tell me. I just, I'm worried about you too, you know. You're exhausted. Hey, but listen to me. These people who are after us, I know these people. They'll stop at nothing. So we need to be smart. We're gonna have to disappear. It's the only choice we got. I know, but I don't want to lose you in the process. That's not gonna happen. I promise you. We're gonna get out of this together. Now, you need to get some rest, because I don't know when we're gonna get another chance. I'm holding you to that, Dad. Your promise? Yeah. Get some sleep. I love you. I love you, too. Okay, bud, what the hell's going on? Mr. Baker, care to explain why the target has not been dealt with? Are you kidding with this shit? Target? Look, I don't know what the hell paulie has been telling you, but I'm not in the business of killing unarmed civilians. They were priority targets, I assure you, Mr. Baker, which means you had a job to do and you failed. Am I wrong? That's not my job. I'm an enforcer. Look, I only deal with people who attack our turf, try to take out our people. Polly knows that. I don't know why you don't. I'm not a hitman. Get one of your own psycho goons to do that shit. Developing a conscience, Mr. Baker. I'm afraid you might be in the wrong line of work. Polly is no longer a concern of yours. And you'll find that the Syndicate does not tolerate failure of this enormity. Refusal to eliminate a target, simply unforgivable. What the hell are you talking about? I don't think I have to explain how this works to someone like you. As I said, the Syndicate does not take kindly to failure. Farewell, Mr. Baker. <laughs> How's everything looking on your end, huh? You at the safe house? Quiet for now. Passports? All finished. So, uh, I know you're trying to keep your head down. You, you maybe uh, want me to bring them to you? It might be safer. No, I can't risk you being followed here. We'll meet in a public place. I'll pick something. Somewhere safe. I'll let you know probably tomorrow. All right. Fine. Fine. Nope. No problem. What? What's wrong? Nothing. It's just those people you're messing with here, man. Just be careful, right? You're your your kid. Look, you just worry about the passports. I'm getting her out. I don't care who's coming after us. You're right. Just tell me the time and place. I'll be there, man. All right? Tommy. Thanks. I know the risk you're taking. Yeah, you really struck a nerve on this one, man. 
I'll see ya. All right, be safe. Yeah. I should come with you. No. It's safe for you to stay here. I'll be back in a second. Dad! Why won't you let me help you? We have a better chance if we work together and I can handle myself. Eva, we are so close. If something were to happen to you right now, it would destroy me. Don't you see that? Okay. I should have left this a long time ago. Maybe if I did, your mother would still be alive. I've made mistakes. I've got no illusions about that. But please, let me protect the one thing that I did right. Don't turn around, Tommy. It's me. You have him? Yeah. Yeah. Turn the book back. Just hand it back to me. I'll get him out. I'm, uh, I'm sorry, Glenn. I, I really am. They have my family. <laughs> Mr. Baker, good to see you again. I must say I'm impressed. You've managed to evade us for quite some time now. You should be proud. It was a valiant effort. But now it's time we end this irksome little game. Go to hell. <laughs>